Good morning, everyone. It's Emily, and I am back with another video. Okay, so let me do a brief introduction, introduction for my newbies. Um, my name is Emily, and this channel we do low income budgeting and as well as cash envelope stuffing and um single mom vlogs so um welcome to my channel you guys um so today this video is going to be a little bit different um i usually do more budgeting videos so today this is going to be a cash stuffing video and i will be stuffing 325 dollars into my cash envelope system here um, this here is just a little binder that I purchased, a hologram binder that I purchased off of Amazon. And I also purchased these clear plastic envelopes from Amazon. And then I had my sister put my categories on, make my categories with her label maker. So it's very brief. And I'm going to go ahead and go through this little system here and tell you what categories I have. I have gas laundry um i do not have a laundry uh i don't have a washing machine dryer hookup in my apartment so i have to go to the laundry mat so i have money for laundry for two weeks grocery which i um always budget out for two weeks and i do have some cash left over in my envelopes and we'll count that in a minute then i have my daughter and this is her envelope and that's ashton myself which is emily then i have eat out fun money household supplies back to school and i have date night and then the last category i have is birthday and gifts which i probably will end up taking this out eventually because i have a electronic sinking fund for this category so, I, you won't see me stuff money in here that often. Okay, so some of these categories you might not see me stuff today as well. Okay, so the first category we're going to start with is gas. I have nothing in this category. So, I will be stuffing $50 into this category. So, I have my money laid out here. I got 20s, 10s, and 5s. Okay. All right, and so I'm going to put take a 20, another 20, and a 10, and that makes 50. So 20, 40, 10, and 50. So I will put that in gas. And I zip it up like so. Very, very, very fast and very convenient, you guys. And I hope you guys can see, because I know my camera is probably at a weird angle. Okay, so laundry for two weeks is $20, and I'm going to use two tens for this category because I use $10 a week. So 10 and 10 is 20, and I am going to put it in laundry, and I have a penny in there for some reason. So a little penny can come out, a little brownie can come on out of there because you can't put that in a laundry machine. So anyway, so we're going to slide those two 20s down in there. And then grocery, grocery actually has some money in here. So let's count what's in here. So I had this leftover from the last time I went to the store. Uh, 20, 20 and a 10, 20, 40 and 50. So that's $50 left in grocery. And actually I am going to add uh, two different categories of groceries this time. I'm gonna add, first category I'm gonna add $100 so we're going to use all 20s, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Okay, so I'm just going to stick this right here. And then I'm going to do another category, which I uh, budgeted out of my income tax, was to put an extra $75 into my grocery uh, uh, envelope here. So I'm going to do 75 So. I'm going to use these 20s, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 5. Okay, so let me count this again so you guys can see. 20, 40, 
50, 60, 70, and 5. Okay. So let's count and see how much I have in this envelope right now. So let me let me organize my money a little better here. And I like my money to face the all the same way, you guys. I like the heads to go the same way. And I like the denominations to fall correctly behind one another. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. So that's 200, 10, 20, 25. 225 dollars. So I have total $225 here for grocery. So $225 is going to the grocery. And remember, I had $50 already in there. Okay, so we're going to stuff that down in that bad boy. Okay, and then Ashton, my daughter, um, out of my tax, no, I'm sorry, out of my, I had some extra income. I had a insurance uh, hundred dollar to do, uh, hundred dollars come back in a check from my insurance for getting blood work done. So out of that money, um, I took out forty dollars for my daughter. So Ashton gets forty dollars. We're gonna give it to her in tens because she's still learning how to count money. Ten, twenty, thirty, and forty. So that's ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Okay, so we get four tens in there for little Miss Ashton. And by the way, my daughter is nine. She's in the fourth grade. So we're still working on counting money out. So Ashton. Okay, so Emily. Emily does not get anything. But I will count what I have in here. And this money is actually for my Sam's Club membership. I have to renew it. So that's 20, another 20 and a five. So that's $45 here. $45 for my sound club membership. If it, I do decide to get out there. I do not go many places at all, you guys. Mostly just go to work into the grocery st store and back every week since this whole coronavirus started. And by the way, I did have the coronavirus as well as my nine-year-old daughter. I did not have a bad case of it. And we are doing fine. I have It has been a month and a half since I had it. And as some people might not know, um, a lot of people are saying your job will not reimburse you or will not pay for you to be out from, with the corona. My job did. They did pay me um, the time for the time that I was out. And I just had to uh, send in, um, talk to my supervisor. And he filled out all the paper by paperwork for me actually it was my district manager so uh if you are out with the coronavirus please look into hr and find out if you can be compensated for that time because uh you still can be compensated it depends on your job though because i've heard several different people say that some say they did get paid some say they won't get paid or did not get paid so I work, I have a state job, so we did get paid. Okay, so eat out. Eat out does not get anything. I have already used my money to eat out, and I've already ate out. So that doesn't get anything. Fun money. Fun money does not get anything. Household supplies. I need some household supplies. I had $300 in my sinking funds, and I took out $20 of that. I'm sorry, I said $300. I had $100 in my household sinking fund, so I took out $20. So, this gets two tens, 10, 20, and that will go into household supplies. And by the way, I do not keep all of my money in here. I have digital uh sinking funds with capital one so if anybody is interested in a video about my sinking funds please leave a comment down below okay back to school does not get anything date night date night has some money in here let's see what date night has in here okay date night has 22 dollars 22 dollars guys that's what date night has in it. I am going to add 
two more tens. So let's get this together here so we can count it. 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. So now date night has $42. And I have to fix this. I cannot stand when the heads don't line up. So now all my money is facing the same, guys. I love that. Okay, so I'm going to go sanitize my hands in a second. And that's it, you guys. Because birthdays and gift does not have anything in here. Now, in my sinking funds, my electronic sinking funds, I had $300 that I took, um, I stuffed in that. I put in that from my taxes. And I spent $40 of that on someone's birthday yesterday. So, yes, but we'll get into that um, in my sinking funds video. If you guys would like to know about how much I have on my sinking funds. And I'll talk about where my sinking funds are at with Capital One 360. So, yes, this here, I love these little plastic envelopes, you guys. And then it came with, like, this little binder came with, like, a ruler type of situation and some kind of little card that says, Enter the Planet. But it's a little scratched up and beat up because I keep this in my purse. And like I said, I did purchase this little thing here from Amazon. Um, the actual... This binder part was sold separately from the envelopes. And then I just had my sister make my labels with a label maker. And you can purchase these envelopes on Amazon and Etsy with uh, designer labels and whatnot. But I am on a low income budget and I try to save money where I can. So she actually made those labels for me for free. So... That is my cash that I just stuffed. I don't keep a lot of cash on hand. This is about what I usually keep, the amount that I usually keep on hand. I go through the, the my cash fairly fast and because I just don't like keeping cash on hand and I don't like keeping cash in the house. So, um, yeah. So, leave a comment down below if you got a question and, um... I appreciate all of my new subbies and I appreciate all of my day ones. Thank you for watching my videos and supporting my channel. And um, I want to give a shout out. Yes, I'm going to give another shout out. Um, I love to support other YouTubers that are doing the same thing. Uh, that I am doing and they have a low income budget as well. I feel like we do not get enough credit in the low in low income budget community. A lot of uh, people are stuffing or have bigger incomes or shovels. And so I want to give a shout out to uh, the DIY Lotus. Um, check her channel out. It's DIY Lotus L-O-T-U-S. That's her channel name, and she does uh, budgeting as well on a low income. And that's the person that I am featuring this uh, time on my video. That's the channel that I'm going to feature on my video this time. So you guys, go on over and um, give her some love. Let her know that um, Diary of a Single Mom 2017 sent you guys. And please, please go over and support her. Thank you guys for watching my video. Um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, please. Love you and have a blessed weekend.